In this video we are going to look at how to draw an exponential graph. But just a quick summary. When we looked at straight lines, how did we draw a straight line? So let's say I gave you the equation of a straight line. If you can remember, you would remember that we first made x equal to 0 and then we would find some point on the y-axis. So let's say for example that was over here. And then we made so yes, yeah, so we would go work out y, then we would typically make y equal to 0 and then we would go work out x and that would be somewhere on this line for example and then we would go and draw the line. So the point is, is that we found the x-intercept, that's this one, that where it, that's where it cuts the x-axis and we found the y-intercept, that's where it cuts the y-axis. Then we looked at the parabola where those equations typically look something like that And then we knew that a parabola looks something like that over there. So what we had to do was we had to go find those coordinates because we knew that on that line, on this line over here, what was always zero? We said that the y value is always zero on that line. And so we, we to find the x values over there and over here, we went and we went to the equation and we made x equal to we made y equal to zero. And then to find this point over here, we had to make x equal to zero. So the point is though, we had to find these two, which are the x intercepts. X intercept means well, x means x-axis and intercept means where it cuts. And so we found the x-intercept and there were two of them. And then we also had to find the y-intercept and that we did by making x equal to zero. So the parabola and the straight line were very similar in that way in that we found x-intercepts, y-intercepts and we always had to remember that there would have been, there were two x-intercepts for the parabolas. Now for a exponential graph, a typical exponential graph could look something like this, okay? So it has a dotted line which is the asymptote and then it could do something like that. So what does this graph definitely have? Well, it has the asymptote and so you have to go find that. So that's one thing that you need to find. So I'll write that over here. And then it's definitely cutting this point over here and so you would need to find a y-intercept. Now people often say, but what about the x-intercept? Well, this graph doesn't have an x-intercept at the moment because the x-intercept is where the graph cuts the x-axis. But this graph never does, never cuts the x-axis. And so you would be wasting your time if you were trying to find it. So what I usually suggest to people is first do a rough sketch of the graph to see what it looks like and then see whether you should even waste time trying to find the x-intercept. Not for other graphs but for um, for exponential graphs because you might waste time in a test trying to find the x-intercept but you'll realize that the maths won't even work out in the end and I'll show you how we do that later on in this video. And so let's do this. So we know that we have to find the asymptote. Now that's the easy part because the asymptote is always this line over here. It's the plus 3. So I'm going to put that on the diagram. And so there we've got the asymptote and then the next thing would be to just look at this value over here. Because it's positive, or no sorry, because it's bigger than 1, we, it, we know that it's an increasing graph and it's going to go above the asymptote like that. And so here on the left hand side this graph would never ever cut the it would never ever go past 
this asymptote. It would get very close, but it would never go underneath that, okay? So now when we draw a graph, we have to give the specific value. So we're definitely going to give the equation of the asymptote, and we're going to give the equation of this point over here. So how can we go to this equation and ask it what these coordinates are? Well, what do we know about that point? Do we know the y value or the x value? Well, well done if you said we know the x value, because remember, we know all the x values on this y axis. Remember, the x values there are always 0. So let's go to this equation and tell this equation that the x value is 0, and it will go and work out the y value for us. And so anything to the power of 0 is 1, and so we're going to end up with y equal to 4. So the coordinates there will be 0 for the x and 4 for the y. So that's something important you'd have to show. And then let's look at this dotted line over here. What is the y value over there? That's 3, right? What is the y value over there? Well, well done if you also say 3. And over here, it's also 3. And over here, it's also 3. Because the y tells you how high or how low you are. But on that green line, the height is not changing. It's only the, the x values that are changing. So what would be a nice equation for that line? Well, if the y values are always 3, we can just say y is always equal to 3. And so that is the equation of this asymptote. And those are the important things that you would show on that graph over there.